Hey, what's up guys? This is Atlantis Refurbished back again with another video and today we're going to be talking about how being a good person can either be the easiest or hardest thing that you've ever done. Um, and this is just depending on how you go about it. So to start off, uh, many things in our life will at some point in time uh, be taken personally, especially before awakening spiritually um, and realizing that you are connected to everything. Um, one of the things that you learn while ascending or unblocking your upper chakras is to let go of caring about things like this. Um, the former is the hard path, um, which is like taking things personally. And then the easy path is just to realize that um, you are all connected or that we are all connected and that there's no point in caring about certain forms of judgment because it's just everything is a reflection of how you feel. So if someone's projecting something onto you, um, you might as well not take it personally because it's just some form of something that they're angry about inside themselves. Um, and this is because uh, inevitably, or that was pretty much all I wanted to say as far as like the reason that that's the reason that the spiritual path of being a good person is a lot easier. Um, but now we're going to get to the point of this video, which is like how being a good person can either be the hardest or easiest thing you've ever done. Um, this is because inevitably by being a good person or trying to do the right thing, um, especially after doing the wrong thing in the past, uh, you will attract criticism and a form of gossip um, especially regarding your intentions in doing this good thing or doing these good things. Um, at first, especially when you don't have control over your thoughts and energy, this can be taken personally. Um, however, this is pointless um, and makes the process a lot harder than it has to be by default. And it will permanently stay that way until you let go of labels and let go of like, what other people say and realize that no matter what you say, um, even if you try your hardest or do everything that people want, um, people are going to take it personally in some way or another. Um, there's basically what I'm trying to say is there's no, there's no way to please everybody. So you might as well not waste your energy trying to please everybody. Um, you might as well just let it go and do it the easy way, which is just doing what you feel is right in your heart, um, since that is really all that matters. Um, by caring about criticism in the first place, uh, you were just wasting your spiritual energy and lowering your frequency, uh, which is only stagnating or slowing down your goals and making it harder to attract more opportunities to help people because your frequency is lower, making you less magnetic and i've made videos on this um, the less the lower your frequency is and the lower your magnetism is um, the less opportunities you're going to attract in this case you would be trying to be a good person or not necessarily be like specifically charity work but even if it's just treating people kindly um, like a minor form of being a good person um, you'll attract more opportunities socially and just in life in general the higher your frequency is. And one of the main ways to lower your frequency is to care about what, like care about labels and care about what other people think, care about what society thinks. So you might as well just make the entire process easier and not care what they think. Because once again, it doesn't matter if like, let's say like whatever group or a person is criticizing you, um, whenever you do something or fix what they were criticizing, uh, they'll just find another thing to criticize. And if you fix that, that's just how it works. Um, so there's really no point in trying to be perfect in that scenario because it'll never work out that way. There will always be an issue from that side. So you might as well just do what you want to do. Um, so now that we got that out of the way and we see that letting go is the easy path to success in general, uh, but in this case for being a good person. Um, here are some ways to let go and be a kinder person that I personally is. Um, the, the first two recommendations I'm gonna make from a like YouTube channel that I use called Dr. Virtual Seven are Dr. Vir Dr. Virtual Seven, let go of the past, the dark and the shadow self. 
and Dr. Virtual 7 dissolve the ego. Um, that first video will let go of past labels and past like things that you cared about that were negative um, through subliminal hypnosis. And the second video will dissolve your ego over time, which um, is really what is taking things personally in the first place. Um, all of us have an ego that was built from the day we were born and given a name and then made accomplishments. And we based our whole personality around something that isn't necessarily real. We just made it real. The only thing that's real is our soul and emotions. Um, we made up this ego. And if you don't, while you still need like a personality, obviously, to get things done in life, you shouldn't overly attach to your ego. Otherwise, um, that label of your name attached to all those accomplishments um, or whatever you want to call it, the ego. Um, that's the only thing that can take things personally. Your soul is infinite and can't really take things personally because it realizes how small things like that truly are and that they just really don't matter in the long run. So I would recommend those two videos. Uh, what they do is they use um, subliminal hypnosis to over time reprogram your subconscious mind and when you program your reprogram your subconscious mind to basically act or think in those ways, um, you will just notice that you won't care about ego attachments as much and you won't care about um, certain things from your past as much that might be the barrier in the first place that makes you care about judgment. Um, the next two videos, those were the only two videos I was going to talk about from Dr. Virtual 7. Um, the next two videos I'm going to talk about are Dream Seeds videos from the Dream Seeds YouTube channel. Um, the two videos that I'd recommend the most for this specific purpose of letting go to become a more, to open up the door for more opportunities to be a better person would be Dream Seeds Etheric Cord Cutter and Dream Seeds Higher Self Connection. Um, Dream Seeds Etheric Cord Cutter and Higher Self Connection, I've made separate videos on if you want to go check them out. Uh, but basically, Dream Seeds Etheric Cord Cutter will cut old energy attachments you have from your chakras with old people that aren't in your life anymore or possibly still in your life that are more negatively oriented um, or like bring you down. Um, and a lot of cutting those cords will just make you care less um, and feel lighter and less burdened by um, expectation from other people, uh, which will make it easier to let go of the past and let go of things in the present that aren't serving you and just getting in the way of your goals. Um, in this case, one of the goals is being a kinder person. Um, the next video that I'm going to talk about is Dream Seeds Higher Self Connection. Um, Dream Seeds Higher Self Connection is uh, what it does is it connects you with your higher self, uh, which is what the name says. Uh, but what that means, which I made a whole video again on once again, um, is it connects you with a higher part of yourself, like your soul, sort of, um, that is eternal. And once again, uh, when you tap into that, by tapping into that sense of infinity and sense that, like, when we never truly die, like, even when we die, we just reconnect with a bigger form of ourself, heaven, eternity, uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, even if we do reincarnate, um, we still go there for a decent bit and then come back down. Now, um, whether or not you believe in that or not, it doesn't really matter. Um, connecting to your higher self will widen your perspective so drastically that you once again realize you just you you sort of intuitively realize um, the more connected you are to your soul, uh, which that video will do. That little things, um, little pointless things like judgment and stuff like that do not matter as much as you think they do because even our entire lives are just a small little dot in eternity. Um, so a small little dot in our small little life is pretty much completely irrelevant to care about. Um, the next three videos that I'm going to talk about are from Sapien Medicine, which is another channel um, owned by the same person as Dream Seeds. Um, and these three videos that I'm recommending uh, will basically up your frequency to more of a love and kinder person frequency um, where you're more likely to be a giving person because you feel better personally um, since everything is as within, so without. Um, however you feel inside is how you're going to treat people on the outside. 
Um, obviously, even when you feel bad, you should still try to treat people well, but everybody knows uh, when you feel better as a person, it's just a lot easier to be nicer or sociable. Um, if you're like completely depressed, you can you can still try to be nice to people, but it's just, it's a lot harder. There's a lot more resistance. So what these three videos that I'm recommending will do is uh, make you feel better personally, which will make it a lot easier to like give energy to other people when all you're focused on is your problems because they they feel that big emotionally. It's hard to muster up the energy to give to other people. That's why a lot of parents are stressed. Um, I can only imagine how stressful that is. Um, caring about yourself and like that many other people or like being a leader in a community. Um, these videos would help you a lot. Um, these three that I'm going to recommend, which use frequencies to um, work through your aura and raise your own emotional state are Sapien Medicine, Unconditional, Unconditional You, which is a video that basically um, engorges your aura with unconditional love, uh, which will obviously make you a more unconditional, unconditionally loving person. Um, then uh, the next video would be Sapien Medicine, Become a Kinder, More Patient Person. Um, this will work on your heart chakra, um, your upper heart chakra, which will, um, by unblocking it, will make you feel a lot less resistance towards helping people that you don't know, or even just like smiling more to other people that you don't know, like just being friendlier in general, just a kinder person. Um, that video obviously can't do the work for you. Like you still have to want it. You can't just like hate people and like listen to the video and just be like, oh my gosh, I love everybody. Um, you still have to do personal work inside yourself, but this video will will make that personal work, um, in my opinion, the effectiveness level would be like reducing the work by like over half, honestly. Um, that's how well these videos work. Um, and the next video that I'd recommend would be Sapien Medicine, um, uplift the world yourself and like your surroundings. Um, I forgot what the full title is, but if you just type in Sapien Medicine Uplifting and I'll link it in the description as well. Um, what that video will do is it's like psychic programming um, through the energy and the frequencies uh, to sort of like push your subconscious mind to um, sort of like think about like when you go into a new environment um, how to like uplift people in there and not bring them down. Um, once again, you still have to personally want to do that, but the video will help push you to do it a lot easier and get rid of the emotional blockages inside yourself uh, to make you want to like be that type of person. Since once again, um, how you treat others is almost all the time or more often than not how you feel about yourself in that current moment. Um, which is why it goes up and down. Uh, this will help to keep that state more stable um, and make it a more common occurrence that you are a kinder person rather than like only when you feel good. Um, and so basically that's all the videos that I wanted to talk about. Um, all of these in general will help you to heal yourself emotionally, um, become more tolerant to criticism because you are at a higher frequency of realization, especially that higher self video where your perspectives widen and you just don't care about small things like that. Um, they'll still get to you sometimes, obviously, but it'll make, make how much it gets to you and how often it gets to you go down, like from here to like here. <laughs> um, and the next thing would be that, that the, all those videos would help you with is to feel motivated in the first place to help others. Um, the two that would do that the most are probably the sapien medicine uplifting your environment and sapien medicine become a kinder, more patient person. Um, what I would say to someone listening that is like how would a frequency or a sound have basically do anything towards what you're saying it would do. Um, I would say just to keep an open mind and try it out for like a month. If you don't notice anything, obviously I'm not forcing you to even use it in the first place but I would highly recommend at least trying it. Um, how it works is it's like, since everything in this realm or earth is a frequency, um, by figuring out what the frequency of love is and then turning it into a video through a frequency, 
Um, because basically, yeah, so basically, let me backtrack a little bit. In studies where they test, like, your aura strength, um, they have machines to test this. Like, if you're really depressed and you, you scan someone's aura, it's very weak because they're dark. They have darker emotions inside them. They don't feel good. Um, and then when they scan someone who's, like, with their partner in a room who they really love, um, and they're hugging each other, their aura is, like, really strong because they're in their heart chakra because um, they actually love each other. And they can literally measure how the person's aura, the frequency of their aura changes. So if you repeat back to back in studies, um, sort of around the range, the frequency range um, that people are at when they're in a loving state, um, all you'd have to do is just turn that into a sound of love or the frequency of love, make it into a video that you can play over and over again. And when you feel depressed personally, you can play that you can play that frequency video that is set mm -hmm. sort of around the same frequency or aura would be um, around your significant other or something. And obviously listening to that would uplift you. Um, obviously it would be preferred to have it personally. Um, but if you like need a boost really quick or, and you're not, a, nothing good happened to you that day, even though technically just being alive is good. But like if nothing, you know what I mean? If like you were stressed all day, you're working all day and you didn't have anything that you did that, was a fun or uplifting. Um, you could just listen to one of those videos and feel a lot better. All right, guys. So in summary, um, there are two paths in life um, to helping people. One is hard where you add extra stress on yourself by caring about uh, what people will think about you doing that thing. Um, that goes for any situation, not just helping others. And one is easy where you do what you want to and let it go because it's what you feel is the right choice, which is all that matters. Um, these methods, um, such videos that I just talked about, along with being mindful of your thoughts and meditating on a regular basis to manage the ego, which is really the true enemy of spirituality, uh, will make it a lot easier to take the easy route of just being a good person um, because you feel like it, um, rather than caring about things that don't matter, uh, which once again, that higher self video is probably the best video out of all of those for widening, widening your perspective spiritually and tapping into that infinite nature or God part of reality uh, where you feel like, like small things just are very, very small in the grand scheme of eternity. All right, soul family, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit like if you did. And I hope all of you have a great day filled with other people in mind. Peace. See you guys next time.